Thanks for checking out the second episode of our S14 streetcar project build. In this episode, we're gonna install an ISR Performance adjustable fuel pressure regulator. In preparation for turbocharging our KA motor, we added a Walbro 255 fuel pump. So it's time to replace the stock 21 year old fuel pressure regulator. So why do we go with ISR Performance? It's an inexpensive fuel pressure regulator and it's a great kit that comes with everything you need. Everything on it is metric, which makes it easy on a Japanese car where everything else is metric already. These are the tools you need for install. This project does involve gasoline, so don't be stupid. Wrap the fuel pressure gauge in Teflon tape. Use an 11 millimeter wrench to snug it down. To relieve fuel pressure, remove the fuel pump fuse. In the driver's side kick panel, it's the third fuse from the bottom. Then crank the car two or three times to pass any fuel that remains in the lines. Disconnect the negative battery terminal. Where the soft hoses meet the hard fuel rail, remove the clamp that holds the fuel return line. This is gonna end up being rerouted to the bottom of our fuel pressure regulator. There are two Phillips head bolts that hold the stock fuel pressure regulator onto the rail, and they are notoriously easy to strip. So save yourself the hassle and pull the fuel rail. It's two 12 millimeter bolts and then three 10 millimeter bolts on top. Unplug the injectors and remove the whole assembly. Now you have easy access to take off the two bolts. Predictably, one of our stripped, so we use an easy out and a drill to get it out. Replace the stock fuel pressure regulator with the ISR adapter. On install, we replace the strip bolt with new hardware. With the assembly off, we replace a section of fuel hose too, and then tighten both hose clamps. And then reinstall the fuel rail. The bottom of the fuel pressure regulator is for a return line. Use one of the Dash 6AN barb fittings, it doesn't require any Teflon tape. Then install the remaining AN barb onto your chosen side of the fuel pressure regulator. Use a 19mm wrench to snug it down. We drilled out the mounting bracket to accept a little larger hardware. We took advantage of two unused mount points on the strut tower. And just like Nate Dogg and Warren G, Regulators! Mount up! Held in place with one bolt, we swiveled the fuel pressure regulator up and attached the bottom return line. Then we moved to the fuel pressure regulator inlet and cut a new hose. We ran fuel hose from the return line to the inlet of our fuel pressure regulator. Attached a negative battery terminal and put the fuse back in and then refill the fuel system by switching to ignition off. You're gonna reuse the vacuum hose from the stock fuel pressure regulator on the new fuel pressure regulator. Using a number five Allen key, adjust the fuel pressure regulator flow. With no vacuum and the pump engaged, you should see 43 PSI. At idle, you should see 34 PSI. Clockwise increases pressure, counterclockwise decreases pressure. Once you got the right pressure, secure it with the lock nut. That's it. The regulator's installed. Now we're one step closer to adding a turbo. Thanks for watching. And share any of your fuel pressure regulator install tips in the comments below.